What's up, viewers? It's me, Fax and Jets, playing Ace Combat Zero The Balkan War. Last mission, we shot down Wizard Squadron. Now, we're gonna head back to Avalon Dam in Operation Point Blank. And luckily, I'm not flying a Mirage, because those things tend to be missile magnets. According to this, the dam is protected by an intensive anti-aircraft defense network. To deal with this, the Allied squadron will draw anti-aircraft fire to itself in the skies. Meanwhile, GOM team will join the Allied squad's Avalon Dam strike team and approach the target at low altitude through the canyon. That's the only way we stand a chance at succeeding. If you destroy the V-2 launch control facility, you should be able to stop the weapon from being fired. The V-2 will probably be equipped with a nuclear warhead. The destruction caused by its single warhead will most likely dwarf the damage inflicted by that tactical nuclear attack before. All the Allied forces will be mobilized for this full-scale operation. Seems this war doesn't want to come to an end. We must stop the V-2 launch. Hurry! Alright, time for a super exciting refueling mission. I think this might be the only one in the game, but I don't know, there might have been others. Oh, come on. Get those things lined up perfect. That was pretty quick. Alright, so for as much as I've kind of complained about Ace Combat Zero having some boring missions, I think it has maybe the best ending of, in, in my opinion, of any of the PS2 Ace Combats. Because, I mean, this shit is just amazing. Oh no! Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you just gotta go full throttle on this. It's the only way you're gonna make it. You can usually dodge a lot of the SANs in the canyon just by going fast and using terrain cover. You did your best Savage 4. I appreciate it. And it's kind of hard to target a lot of these guys. No, I'm, uh, I'm gonna be hit. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh shit, an SC-47. I see a missile right behind me. Alright, I think I'm almost to the end. Oh yeah. Alright, let's... Also perfect. We'll get rid of these gun towers, so uh, so I don't get killed for a stupid reason. Because if anything's gonna kill me in this, it's gonna be the tunnels. The because the the Avalon Dam tunnels have kind of like little bends and stuff, and there's like anti-aircraft within them, which I. I don't know if any of the other PS2 Ace Combats have that, but if they do, it was also pretty annoying. Oh dear, no, 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 shit. Alright, 
Let's try and figure out what I did wrong there. Probably just didn't go left fast enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done all that before. Got a missile right behind me. Perfect. I totally am. It's not super important to have, like, anti-aircraft missiles in this mission, but they're definitely important in missions 16 and 18. Oh, I'm way too high, way too high, way too high. Oh boy, I'm gonna get hit. Crazy. And there's also some planes that will fly into the the uh, the tunnels, so gotta make sure you don't hit those. And I think there might only be one V2 tunnel. It's not like uh, Ace Combat 4 that had like a whole bunch of them. Don't. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Rising above countries and armies. It's generally better just to do this pretty slowly, because you can usually. Uh, I don't know. It's time for a perfect world without restrictions. <laughs> My mind's just totally focused on getting this right. Don't want a repeat of what happened in. Um, oh, uh, the Ace Combat 5 Let's Play, where I. Uh, oh, oh. Oh no. Shit. <laughs> Probably could have saved that, but I just kind of gave up. And that was a dumb choice. Alright, this time I'm going to try going in from the other side of the, uh, the dam. Just as soon as I get over it, just fly on in. I'm wishing I had something like the XAGMs. I mean, Strike Eagle would be very nice right now. Alright, round three. Let's do this shit. Sat down there. AA gun. Come on, don't hit the wall. Oh, that was very dumb of me. But the the boresight mode makes makes this a little easier, I'd say. Try flying in through there, but I would probably crash given my amazing piloting skills. Whoa. Alright. Level my 
myself out and try and slow down as much as I can without stalling. Oh. I think always locks on to the wrong target for me. But I've got time. Perfect. And I just gotta go up now. Hope on that. Hope for that. Both of them. That sucks. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Got a couple more lock joints. Avalon's got some pretty awesome music. I love those drums they have. Are those like bongos or something? Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Alright, and at this point in the mission, I think they start, like, they start closing the V2 doors, which is... Inconvenient, obviously. Alright, let's head in from the north entrance and see if we can get them all in one shot. Oh, a surface air missile. You world with no boundaries, people suck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. No, 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 no. Ah, God, that was close. Just one left. Get on out of here. But I did just crush into the ceiling, which is bad. There we go. Oh man, my hands are really goddamn sweaty. Oh no. Nothing good happens when you say that. Who could that be? You were an awesome target. Oh no. Yeah, I can do that on the guitar. Watch this. Oh god, that sounded bad. Oh god, oh god. Mission's gonna start, mission's gonna start, oh god. Hey, the loading screen text changed. Oh no, you won't. Let's do 
Yeah, so this guy's got a giant laser, which means that it's dangerous to attack him even from the back. I do not think I've, I'm invincible considering how many times I've died in the last, I don't know, last three and a half hours. I can be hit. Oh, missed. Stealth plane. Bro, it's just a little too high. difficult for me. Come on. Nice. Good this fight. Although it is definitely one of the better ones in Ace Combat. Even if I'm losing in it, I'm having a ton of fun with it. Jeez. Well, that's. Come on. Nice. Alright. 40 missiles out of 5 X and A's. 30. That's evil. if you can actually beat Pixie with just guns, but if you can, it'd be pretty impressive because I don't know what I'm going to do if I run out of missiles. a burst missile right next to me. Oh yeah, that was absolutely perfect. If only I'd been doing that for the last six minutes, five or six minutes. I mean, is it kind of an advantage having a, like, super plane? But 
know that at this point in the battle, it looks like I can still hit him from the back. I'm gonna take advantage of that chance while I still have it. Oh no! Shoot. She's not firing the laser much anymore. It's one of those things. Oh my god, I've had the XMA select this whole time. That was dumb. That's probably why this is taking me so long. I'm only gonna have about three minutes to take Pixie down. I do not know if that'll actually be enough time. Alright then. Six minutes. Yeah, I can do this. Oh yeah. Nice. Whoops. I assumed that. Huh. I have to do that all over again because I crashed. That was. Definitely one of my dumber deaths of this whole series. Alright, this attempt actually seems to be going pretty well. Alright, so we're finally back to where we were after like two attempts. And that didn't hit. Front air intake. Heading towards the end of the map now, which isn't good, and I'm gonna try to get rid of the missile. Can't let him do that. Jeez. Alright, do I have enough room to go in for the kill? Nope. It's a little bit off. You gotta kinda be at the right elevation to hit Pixie. It's kind of annoying. How far away from Okay. Definitely getting some distance. And distance is definitely your friend when you're fighting Pixie. And it's not gonna work. Why did I even fire those missiles? left. I really don't have a chance this time, do I?
perfect. These SMAs work very well. Alright, so first phase, I just gotta stay behind him and bombard him with everything that I can. And now I gotta dodge all of those burst missiles. There's one. Oh, this is going very well. And I'm out of XMAAs, but I've still got 50 missiles. Alright, I have a good feeling about this. I don't know if the missiles hit, but my guns sure did. down there. Let's hit. Low. It's pretty much what I did, but whatever, Pixie. Oh, he's gaining on me. Oh, shit. Great. Here he comes again. Alright. Let's get those front air intakes. Go up. Come on. Still got missiles on me. That's nice. Yeah, in this fight, you do a whole lot of, like, just watching behind you, because... It's really the only way to keep track of Pixie once he goes off radar. And it takes a whole lot of time to, you know, get that whole attack sequence lined up. Oh shit, I guess it only takes like 8 missiles. Goodbye Pixie. It's gotta be one of the most iconic shots from any Ace Combat cutscene. Oh no, did Eagle Eye get blown up? Hey, he lived. 
Man, I've heard that victory theme so much from Infinity. So this is the hidden truth about the war. And this is where his trail ends as well. The impact of the seven nuclear detonations on the world's psyche was great. Those who witnessed the carnage went on to organize a global arms reduction. Perhaps they were admonishing themselves. Furthermore, the existence of V2 was concealed. The events that occurred after the war faded from people's memories. And PJ, these men were also no. sealed away from history. Maybe this was one path to achieve peace. And here the curtain falls on this story. However, that does not mean their own stories came to an end. I fly under the code of knighthood. It's no surprise, since we soldiers are the descendants of the Belkin Knights. We protect the meek and give our lives for honor, but that does not mean that we are generous, since generosity will cost us our lives. If the pilot survived to the end of the war, he must have carried out these rules. I bailed out and landed here. The captain was gone. I've lived a comfortable life since then, and I probably have him to thank for that. They ring the bells here at dusk to honor the liberation of the capital. It signals peace, but to me, they are the sounds of death. Hatred cannot be the only motivation for war. It only brings about more pointless deaths. I lost most of my students. They were all my children, my flesh and blood. I will never overcome that grief. I'll probably never teach anyone again. Nor will I ever go up in the sky again. I have entrusted everything I know to a new generation. I'll just look on from here. Marcella Vasquez, the Espada team's number two and former member of the Sapin Air Force, 9th Air and Land Division, 11th Tactical Fighter Squadron. She is thought to be a survivor of the Coup d'Etat Squadron. She currently earns a living as a dancer. If the Demon Lord hadn't appeared, our lives might have been different. For me, it wasn't about flying or ideals. Most of all, it was about him, my flight lead. Our mission was to escort the heavy command cruiser that was to act as transportation for the organization. And the Demon Lord appeared, as if to block our path. I will never forget his overwhelming power. One by one, my comrades were shot down, and then the mother bird we were supposed to protect. We survived after the fight. We left our organization and returned to the ground together. But those whose hearts are in the sky will always return to the sky. He was one of them. And so he left, even though his wounds had yet to heal. And he died there, never to return to me. But I don't blame anyone. The regret and suffering that remained after that battle were also what he had given me. They're among the precious few things he left behind.
Joshua Bristow, former captain of the Ocean Air Defense Force, 8th Air Division, 32nd Tactical Fighter Squadron. His actions during the Belkin War are surrounded in mystery, and he is rumored to be one of the founders of a world with no boundaries. His whereabouts were unknown after the decisive Battle of Valdrike, but several years later he resurfaced as a leader of a terrorist organization. Today he is serving time in prison. This darkness and that little window are my entire world now. I'm actually rather fond of it. The darkness envelops me in a borderless world, a world with no boundaries. He was not the reason we were unable to change the world. No matter what the desired outcome is, the world can still change as long as people expand their knowledge and desire change. Today's world has already changed from what it was back then. Larry Fink, also known as Solo Wing Pixie. GALM Team's number two, and member of the Ustio Air Force, 6th Air Division, 66th Air Force Unit. That's right. This man was his buddy, and his enemy. I should have died that day, but I didn't. I dragged my wounded body and reached ground zero of the nuclear detonations. A barren empty land. I felt an unbearable sadness when I witnessed that landscape. There were still people living there. They were the ones that saved me. It may be true that the world has no need of borders, but would getting rid of them really change anything? The world won't change for the better unless we trust people. Trust is vital in a peaceful world. But that will never happen. I'm still on the battlefield. Right now I'm near a border. I want to see for myself what borders really mean. And what their volition really is. I may not find what I'm looking for. But I still want to try. Anyway, that's what I've come to believe and I think that's enough. Will he see this video? If you do meet him, give him a message for me. Yo, buddy. Still alive? And thanks, friend. See you again. The Demon Lord of the Round Table. A warrior who soared through the Belkin War, inspiring both fear and anger. Filled the skies for but a few short months before he disappeared. Apart from that, nothing is known about him. I was never able to find out what kind of a person he really was. But whenever they talked about him, they always had a slight smile on their faces. That, perhaps, may be my answer. That, well. That's Ace Combat Zero, and that was a whole bunch of cutscenes. Hope y'all enjoyed watching that. Um, don't know what I'm gonna do next. Maybe Assault Horizon, or maybe um, Air Combat for the PS1. I don't know, lots of choices, but... Anyways, hope y'all enjoyed that one. And, uh... Stay tuned for whatever I do next. Have an awesome day.
Oh man, I don't know how to be rank on Valley of Kings. So I didn't destroy any other targets, but that's still disappointing. And I got SP New Game. Yay. 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 So much fun stuff.